Hey guys, Gunshy Mori here with another video, and today we are going to be building the farm. Yes, the farm, because we need it, because I need to get veggie cakes. <laughs> I am not going to lie. So what we're going to do is basically, as you can see here, we do got these two bridges that I have built. We got one over here, uh, do mind the water effect. And then, it's this area is not finished, but the plan was I'm going to make a path that cuts up through here. Maybe build one of the egg farms up on top of one of these unbreakable rocks. Or I'm sure this is pretty sure this is unbreakable. Yeah, there's no collision on the hit. Can't break it. Uh, same with this one over here. I'm pretty sure same with this one. Yeah. So all these rocks over here are unbreakable. Um, this tree I'm gonna leave. I actually kind of like it. So yeah might actually build a little nook over here you never know so yeah anyways i'm gonna get working on the farm we're gonna kind of turn this whole uh hill area over here i'm not gonna go too far down the hill probably won't go past this point probably gonna put up a wall here to keep any uh baddies out or even go up against the tree line there with the wall but yeah but i'm gonna kind of just turn this hillside into a farm even up here, maybe build another egg thing up here. You can definitely go over this way. Because, yeah. So, I'm just going to get to work on cleaning some of this up. And actually start building some of the egg... That was it, you know, like the egg spires I had back at the Lost Lake. I just realized this. I really need a good thatch getting dinosaur. I think a Therizina would be good, but... I guess I could start breeding them up. I do have Ankies going right now. Um, if you guys don't know, because uh, I haven't told you at all, I did originally, before recording this, try to make a Quetzal base, but I found out I'm mostly going to just be breeding up creatures to throw on the back of it or to get the resources to build the Quetzal base. So, I may as well keep on expanding the farm and while I work on getting these guys tamed up. But yeah, anyways, if you guys want to see what we got now, Got Dodecarus just finished up. Um, I'm work currently working on the... What is it? Desdemonus. And we got Des here now. That's that's the name that I've chosen for him. Des. So, yeah. But, yeah, now that we have Des, we are building up these farms. As you can see here, um, if you guys recognize it, you remember the Dodo farm. So, we're going to get one of these as Dodos. And the other one is those one little penguins. The, was it... Was it the ones that poop out the gold eggs, we got them tamed up. They're a shoulder pet, so... Yeah, we're gonna get those guys going. Um, I'm gonna check and see how many eggs right now I have from these guys. Yeah, I got quite a bit. Um, I'm gonna let them get a lot more. Before I check for all the combinations, because that's a pain. Um, what are you? Ooh. I do have the Fear Evolved event colors going on right now. That's about the only thing, and I think I can craft up the stuff but i think tomorrow actually the 18th when this video is posted it goes up because yeah i'm recording this on monday uh i yeah i posted uh what was it state of decay yeah i posted the state of decay video uh at like two o'clock i'm sorry i fell asleep. i recorded it last night after i realized that the other one posted and then I was like, oh, dang it, dang it, I messed up. I also did it with another video, the Explorer Notes Plus one last night. But I fixed it in time, but I didn't do it in time on the Stay of Decay. So I just recorded another video, so I figured we'd start Stay of Decay off with two videos. I may do that with the raft as well, because I'm going to be restarting on the raft. So, yeah. I've also been thinking about something. Should I light up the lake? You know? I mean, it's pretty murky. I don't think any lights would do anything except, like, show dots. I mean, like, look at... Here, I'm gonna interrupt that real quick, but... Look at what the light does down here with these guys. I mean, you can't even see their light at all. I mean, it's just... I don't think I should, but I kind of want to to see what would happen. I don't know why. Okay, now I forgot it. Shit. So what I was going to do was going to show you guys me actually how those guys' are, pens are put together. I don't think I 
showed you originally. I, maybe I did. I don't remember, but I uh, may as well show you again, but yeah. Here, this is how I do my, uh, my small critter pens for eggs. So, got these right here. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to take one of these doorways, snap it into place like that. You're going to swap up to the stone and build two up. Alright. Now you're going to slot in the roof. And you're going to build down two on one side. Then you're going to place... Shoot, I forgot about that. Yeah, you're going to place, yeah, eight uh, wooden catwalks around like that. Alright. And then you're going to place these down. Now, you could go and place another eight catwalks going the other way. So that way you could line them up on this side and line a couple up here in the middle. Just to maximize the amount of room you get. But dodos produce a lot of eggs. So, I'm not going to do that. I had probably every day I collected probably about 20, 26 eggs something like that every day in the arc like arc day not like actual day the actual like me hopping on playing and recording sometimes i'd get like 160 eggs so yeah it, it would give me a lot but yeah this is how you build a small creature pen i'm gonna do the same over here but i forgot about how many catwalks i need so i'm gonna have to run and go get me more all right i had to go get resources I had to go take the caster out to get some wood. But now I got the resources to do this and finish off this pen. And then we will go and put a halt to the uh, angler bit. Was it the angler breeding? And then we're going to pop out the dodos. We're going to get... Uh, let's see if I can get eight. Well, no. Yeah, eight on this side. Eight, Sixteen. So I just need one male and seven. No, I need one male and seventeen females. And then I don't know about the penguins yet. I'm gonna have to test their breeding and all that. So, yeah. All my creatures that are over here that were little at the beginning are now fully grown. So I'm storing them away for right now, so that way uh, I don't have too much clutter. These guys are not done at all. I need to breed down the line a bit more before I get a good Desdemonus. But the one actually we have is actually pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, so the Dodos here should be fairly easy, but the Hesperornis here, um, not as much because... They are not done. I gotta breed down the line on them still. And I think I'll do that before I go and throw them even up in the, the pen. You know? So. Uh, I'm gonna get these guys breeding up. I do got this guy powered. Uh, not for long. I've been using the toilet in the house there to get fertilizer to make re-fertilizer for that. But I really do need to get a proper source of fertilizer. So, yeah. We'll probably do that either this episode or next episode. Ten, depends on how long it takes for the farm. But I'm going to get these guys breeding. Alright, I'm also going to get the Hesperonis mating right here. So, hopefully this doesn't go bad. I should be able to breed two species at once. Um, I just need to remember what I'm doing. I forgot what colors we had on you. You got you turned out really good. You... You, on the other hand, I don't I don't know why. I just don't like that color on you. So, while I'm waiting, I figured I'd come out here and light these up. And since this time we're going all electric, I'm not going to actually have... Well, I do got torches in some locations, but... But we ain't going to go... We're going to go all electric outside now, instead of torches. Just so that way it's all powered by the same generator. And you can see this one's already lit up. Nice. Nice. So, we got a light over there, light over there. Let's throw a light here. Power you on. 
and then because these guys will not have lights mounted on them directly they're going to be mounted on the I don't know I don't know where we're going to mount lights here for these guys it might get dark but I'm going to mount a light right here there you go now we got this area lit up nice did you ever trigger on no so you're out of the power range no worries though i already prepared for this to happen because i kind of knew knew it was and either way i do need ooh, i actually do need this stuff as well uh, i do need to expand those um need you need all that stuff there we go and there we are that is power out this way so this one should kick on here shortly um, did this one kick off yeah why did that one kick off okay because it swapped because it swapped okay what about you you gonna power on at all unpowered huh. I don't Huh? There's... I need to... What? Okay, as you guys can see now, it's powered. I had to move the box, like, way down here. So now it's all powered up. Uh, I can hook up these ramps at last. I'm not kidding. That fucking... There's a fairy around here somewhere. And that boy just scared me. Because I don't know where Dez is. I think I left Dez on the other side. Yep. There's a fairy around here somewhere. You know what? I should probably go take care of it so it doesn't kill me. Alright, so I left Dez over there like an idiot. Damn it. These guys have been breeding here for about 20 minutes, I want to say. And I think it was closer to 15, but yeah. We've only gotten three of each egg. Oh, man. Alright, we're about to get the fourth of you. Yeah, they'll get picked up here. Um, I gotta go cook my supper, so I'm gonna put a pause on the recording. I'm gonna go cook and eat my supper. I'm gonna keep the game running so these guys produce eggs. So, yeah. You guys will see me in a second. Alrighty, so we got our first, uh, Hesperorn is here. I just came back here. Uh, I got done, uh, was it? Put in, uh, barbecue on my ribs. So I will have to run off here for a second. So this one I did level two of the stats onto. So this is a 3340. So what we're trying to get is a 40, another 40, 90 to breed with. But yeah, I guess leveling that one stat's nice. If I could get a 4930 to breed it with, well, with the 33 on it, that'd be awesome. I already had one, but my my dumbass fat finger cracked it. So yeah, all these guys are bad eggs. They're gonna be cracked. None of them are good at stats. They're all female, so yeah. And there we go, I just found the good male. He is in here in number two. Match you up, boom, we are good. You're growing, you're the female that's supposed to be good, right? I think you're an actual and exact clone of the mother. But if I just check here yeah, real quick, make sure we don't get any good females. We might have a female that's already. Yeah, look, right there. Number nine. Number nine is actually a better choice. Okay. So I'm gonna get rid of these other three Hesporinus. Uh, some of you guys might not like how, but I will get some polymer out of it. And we are done breeding the dodos. We actually got all 18 that we need. So we can pack up the original pair here. And throw them back into the cryo fridge. This is what they were intended for. Literally. Like, so I have a perfect pair of dodos. So I can test for mutations. And actually, if you guys want to look here... Uh, you're probably going to see it anyways. We do got two mutations. So here in the number two slot, we did get um, what is a um, 
weight mutation, yes, it's a weight. Because, yeah, it's got two extra points in there. And then we got over here a very vibrant pink, which is uh, oxygen mutation. So, yeah. Two very pointless mutations on creatures. I mean, unless you want to have a... <clears throat> Well, I don't even think oxygen matters. It's pointless on the dinosaurs, yeah. Especially a dodo. I mean, the weight, unless you, like, maybe if you want to have a dodo that, like, transports stuff for you, maybe. Yeah, all these other ones are just normal. 